Hey there folks, in today's video I'm going to be installing and testing this AEM dry flow air filter. Now it claims to provide a higher rate of airflow which will create extra horsepower. This is much like the KNN air filter except it does not have any oil required on this one. So we're going to show you quickly the one that's in there. We're going to do a live data stream for you with our scan tool to show you the comparison. So we're just gonna take off our air box here and show you the filter. All right, so now we're just gonna carefully lift off our lid here. So right now this is a Wix paper filter here. There's the information on the side if you want to look that up for yourself. This has been on the vehicle for about a year now. So we're going to put it back in and we're going to show you the live data stream of how much air this filter will allow into the engine. And if you're not familiar with how to take this off, there's just the screws on the four corners. I do have a video I'll put in the description on how to properly remove this. All right, so now we have our scan tool here. We've plugged it into our OBD port. We're just gonna start the vehicle up. And with this particular scan tool, I can read a live data stream. So we go to data stream and this reads all the sensors in live time. So if we look right now, MAF, that's the mass airflow sensor. It's pulling in 3.76 grams per second. It'll fluctuate. So that gives you an idea, 3.72, 3.78. So it's kind of hovering around the three and a half to four mark around that area so now we're going to install the aem high flow dry air filter and see what we get for our reading all right so and in case you're wondering why i have this aem sticker on there i've actually had this installed for about a month now and i've just been testing out before i do this video so out comes the Wix air filter here. And when we take our filter out of the box, again, it looks much like a K&N brand filter, same color. So we're gonna face it in the same way. So your red side is gonna go down towards the dirty side. And we're just gonna install it the same way that the Wix one was. All right, so now again, we're gonna start it up and see what our readout is. All right, so here is our readout with the AEM currently installed. As you can see, it's kind of hovering around the same. There, it's actually hitting a little bit lower by the looks of it. But those 0.1 grams a second aren't going to be a noticeable difference in the drop. So the fact that this claims that it is a high flow air filter, I think is a little bit of nonsense myself. However, I do like this filter. I'm going to keep it on because it is washable and reusable. So it saves the environment and it could be easily cleaned every year instead of two or three years depending on the driving for a paper filter i can wash this every spring and have a fresh new filter technically every spring so i call nonsense on the fact that they claim that it's extra airflow which to me won't be extra horsepower either 
I did feel like it did respond a little better in the months that I've been driving it. So it had a little better acceleration, but also that could be a placebo effect just because of the claim. Often performance car parts do that. They tell you that it's gonna make it better and you just think it's better as a placebo effect. So, all right, so I wouldn't use this because of the claim that it's claiming for extra horsepower. However, I will use it because like I said, it's washable. So don't get it thinking that it's a performance piece because it seems like it's pretty much the same as a regular filter. It's $75, but I think it's worth the money in the savings of buying new filters. And all I do is I actually just keep this old filter, your paper filter. So if you do this before this goes bad, you can just stuff this in the box and keep it in the trunk of your car or in your house somewhere. Because when you wash it with water, you'll have to dry it completely. So what I do is I'll wash it, let it dry. And in the meantime, I will put the old paper filter back in temporarily because this is my only vehicle. So it'll make sure I still have access to the vehicle while that's drying and I'm not without a vehicle in that time. And then when it's fully dry, I can take the filter, put it back in and restore my paper filter again. So that's all there is to that one folks. And again, it does come with this uh, sticker here it says stop do not oil do not discard so that you can go at your mechanic if they try and discard it and you can get them to technically get you a new one because it is a reusable not a disposable hopefully you found this helpful and as always everybody please like and subscribe